Hey there. You eyeing me, Mainlander? Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Are yours worth dying over, huh? Trust me, I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I could get you, Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Uh, Don't like the service, there's the door. This is my good use. Hey. Well, don't put anything in there, I guess. Life's too bloody hey, short to be trying sober. To get us in trouble. Because leaving there, you just can't put anything in the shut in the dresser. That's retarded. Get into some daylight. We're the only bar in town. I, for one, won't go down unless I'm glory. Let's head out of town. Katie is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Face foul. Never look a trapper in the eyes. But it'll help. There. Something else. We need to move through the main track. Old mountain trail is where we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the common. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. Guns in. Need more ammo.
<laughs> Lost your trap helmet. That's definitely interesting. See the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Rappers. Hmm. Here's the mountain trail. We still Don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Excuse me. Keep your guard up. <laughs> we grow everything extra mean on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. Hey, Mike. Young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this had happened before.
fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing we don't see too many of them. there. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man? Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam Preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. You do know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. He's not liking me very well. No fog. The gate is not too far now. Katie's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. If you ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. <laughs> Damn fog's got in my lungs again. Come on, Nick. I'm thinking I was right about my thoughts on when I was seeing the trailer on who the Sith guy is, and it looks like we're about ready to meet him. Hey. What's the plan? Hey, Valentine. There's something bothering you? That's all. Shoot yourself. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. 
Well, in that case, I want a new Coca-Cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and, um, mm, a pony? <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a simp? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please. If you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. I know this joke. Two androids walk into a bar. I'm afraid the punchline isn't going to be very funny. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready. I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Mm, no, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We... we ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the mm. truth. 
don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? So, everyone here in Acadia is a Sith? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You're from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. Well, I know Nick, obviously. Yes. Of course. What else can I do for you? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. 